Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Today's topic is Barcelona striker Luis Suarez, who recently underwent arthroscopic surgery on the medial meniscus of his right knee. It's the same knee that has given him trouble throughout the past two seasons. Back in August of 2017, he suffered a quote-unquote posterior capsule injury, which was followed by a cyst removal in October of the same year. This season, he's had a series of escalating issues in the right knee, beginning in October 2018 when he experienced right knee discomfort and missed time to undergo rehab for muscle strengthening and injury prevention. When he still continued to have irritation in the knee in November, he underwent a more invasive intervention, stem cell therapy, which saw him miss time in November and into December. Finally, after Barcelona's elimination from the Champions League at the hands of Liverpool, sorry to bring that up for some of you, Suarez and the team decided he would undergo arthroscopic surgery to deal with the meniscus problem. This series of events sounds like the prototypical plan of care for a meniscus injury. When the meniscus, which is a dual crescent shaped pad that sits between the femur, thigh bone, and tibia, shin bone, and helps absorb shock and reduce friction in the knee joint, becomes irritated, you typically start with conservative care, physical therapy, and then move to more invasive therapy, in this case stem cell therapy, and when that failed, arthroscopic surgery. Based on the recovery timeline given by Barcelona, four to six weeks, it's very likely that Luis Suarez is undergoing a quote-unquote meniscectomy, in which the surgeon inserts a tiny camera and instruments through portals in the knee to remove the irritated portion of the meniscus. Suarez had a similar procedure done on his left knee in 2014 prior to the World Cup and came back in four weeks, although there was significant concern that he rushed back. Coincidentally, the Uruguayan star has another major tournament this summer, Copa America, which likely played a key factor in getting surgery right now. Once Barca were eliminated from the Champions League, sights turned toward Copa America, and now he has roughly five and a half weeks to get ready for Uruguay's first game on June 16th. Barring any setbacks, Suarez will likely be back for either the opening game or very early in the group stages. He will face a natural mental and physical reacclimation process that's inherent after missing nearly six weeks, but I'm not worried about his short-term performance. However, there are some longer-term concerns here. Firstly, the research shows that the meniscectomy procedure does lead to increased wear on the cartilage and knee with higher long-term risk for developing arthritis. You're inherently altering biomechanics at the knee by taking out a piece of shock-absorbing and friction-reducing material. Secondly, he's now had the surgery on both knees and there's always a risk for compensatory issues. For example, has some of the right knee irritation been in response to overcompensating for multiple years after his left meniscectomy? With the right knee now undergoing a procedure, will that lead to overstressing that left side again? The human body is a series of interconnected chain links, so we have to be cognizant of these changes. Lastly, there's a natural concern that Luis may try to push through rehab and rush back to be ready for Copa America opening himself up to higher risk of re-injury in the short, medium, and long term. He's an extremely competitive individual and star player for the Uruguay national team, which commonly leads to a push-pull between competing interests of player, club, and international team, as we saw in 2014 prior to the World Cup. All that being said, I have to believe the Barcelona staff are very cognizant of all these factors and have taken them into consideration. I do believe Suarez will be back early on in Copa America, but he will go through a very methodical rehab progression to ensure both short and long-term health and performance. That does it for this video. You can always find me on Instagram or Twitter at 3 Performance. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, thoughtful, and evidence-based information. So like, comment, share, and sub to the channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. 3CB out.